Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Chia and you're watching my YouTube channel, Dorothy Chia Piano. So today I'm going to talk about Singapore's extended circuit breaker and how it has impacted our piano teaching. So now the circuit breaker has been extended and some piano teachers have already stopped piano teaching for a month. So does it mean that we continue stopping our lessons just because now the circuit breaker is extended? How can we convince that online piano lessons still works and remote teaching is possible? Here's how I feel that um, some tips that can be helpful that uh, you might want to consider. Um, definitely, some of the students uh, may find that virtual teaching is not, um, is not suitable for them because they might feel that they do not learn well with uh, just visual learning. All right? So to cope with this kind of students, you might want to tweak your lesson plan to include activities that break down the lesson into smaller sections. So have playing and then theory and then throw in some oral, throw in some games in between uh, go back to playing and then end with some theory. So you might want to tweak your lesson plan so that it doesn't follow the same format as your real to person, person to person lesson but include activities that will work with online lessons and that will capture the, the attention of the students' short attention span when we move them into virtual lesson. Uh, another thing that you can do is to shorten lesson time. I have done this with my younger students, especially those that are four to five years old, where they cannot really stare at the screen and have lesson for 45 minutes. So with these students, I encourage parents to sit next to the kid and I shorten the lesson time to 20 minutes or 30 minute lesson. And same thing, I will use lots of activities so that that keeps the young child engaged. Um, this is also a good time to cover materials that is not normally covered in their lesson time books. So, do look around for exciting pieces, new pieces. You can get them in PDF format and send them to your students so that you encourage them to learn more pieces that is outside of the exam curriculum. So these are my three tips that you can use to encourage parents to have remote piano lessons with you uh, during this extended circuit breaker time. So do like, share and subscribe so that you will be notified of all future videos that I put up. So till the next time, bye bye.